Your daily blast from a colorful past with today was Amelia Earhart a US spy. That's one of the persistent rumors about the famous aviatrix who disappeared in the Pacific 75 years ago. On a dangerous leg of her plans around the world flight, there are many versions of this story. But most share a basic outline. Earhart allegedly was keeping an eye on Japanese activities. For her good friend, President Franklin Roosevelt, her famous Lockheed Electra 10 might even have been equipped with secret cameras, captured by Japanese forces following a crash. She was spirited to the island of Saipan, where she may or may not have survived World War II. Some even claim she was one of the women who provided the voice of Japanese propaganda broadcaster Tokyo Rose. The mystery of the disappearance of Amelia Earhart is getting renewed attention due to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's backing of a new search. As it happens, Amelia Earhart's FBO files are now public, and they contain FBI investigations of many of these rumors, none of which the agency established to be true. Most of the spy theories are built on existing FBI records of recollections of U.S. military. For instance, the interview of a soldier conducted at Walter Reed Army Hospital in 1944. The soldier says he was stationed in the Philippines prior to Pearl Harbor. He stated the walls of the hotel were extremely thin, and he overheard a conversation in English between two Japanese to the effect that Amelia Earhart was still alive and was being detained at a hotel in Tokyo, reads the FBI report of the interview. But when FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover was asked about these records and Earhart's activities, he replied, The FBI does not have any material for distribution concerning Amelia Earhart. She was not the individual known as Tokyo Rose. Was Hoover telling the truth? We'll probably never know. Do you like listening to these tales? Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, The Time Travel Tourist. Your daily blast from a colorful past. See you soon.